Are you ready? Right. Here we are, everybody, for our last and final video of Epworth Pilgrims 2. We're doing it from the garden at the old rectory in Epworth. Places where John and Charles Wesley and all the rest of their family would have come and enjoyed. Not necessarily being exactly as it is now, but the same places. And here's the group of people from the Stamford Methodist Circuit. We've just had our picnic and our service here and our guided tour of the old rectory. So we've connected with the Wesleys, with John and Charles Wesley. We've heard about lots of things that went on in the house and about the family and about their stories. And we've been reflecting just a little bit on the Methodist Church and its story as well. And how it started off with this great inspiration from the Wesleys. And a lot of that inspiration was of the love that John and Charles both allowed into their hearts to change them at that moment when each of them found their hearts strangely warm. And after they experienced that, then at last, they weren't being dominated by what was sometimes the mess in their lives, which they'd tried to hide with lots of rules, which is always a temptation, and began to be able to let the mess of other people's lives into their own hearts and it, let it touch them and people's needs because times were chaotic and loads of people struggling with terrible things in their lives all around them, up and down the country. And they became people who could connect other people to the presence and the love of Jesus and the power of the Holy Spirit to change us all. So here we are now, 2023, <laughs> nearly forgot that. Oh, sorry, 2022, <laughs> getting carried away. <laughs> For the Christian Church and the Methodist Church and whatever our part is to play in the whole Christian Church's story. Well, let's see, shall we? Let's see how it all unfolds for each one of us in the story of our lives and the gifts that God's given us and the part he wants us to play and for the parts he wants to, to play in the life of the whole church with each individual Methodist church and circuit. We've all been given gifts. We've been put at this point in the history of the world for a reason. As we open our hearts to the presence and the love of God in Jesus Christ, He'll lead us as we pray. He will lead us through to find the depth of love that changes us. Not just for our sake, but the sake of the whole world that he loves so much, he gave his own life for it all. And he's here, risen from the dead, to claim us, to invite us, to challenge us, to hold us and to lead us. The best of all, said John Wesley, is God is with us. And he is. God bless you all. And bye-bye. Amen. 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 <laughs>